Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to A Coward's Death. We just ran into the monster again and then died a horrible death. I have seen that much of the monster and I need not see any more because I never ever ever want to see him again. That is literally the most scared I've ever been playing Amnesia. That was amazing! The last part, I've been recording this all in succession, if that is even the right word for this appropriate situation, but I've been playing all of these episodes in a row because I'm prepping for my trip, but good god! I swear I have never been that terrified playing this game. You still locked? Cause that's where I originally heard the noise, and I was wondering if something was eventually gonna pop out of there. But it seems that maybe not! Can I get in here again? Why is it covered in blood? But apparently I cannot. So I don't know if anything changed here, or if it's all still the same. Okay, that's still there. Dark in there. I just need to go to the- Wait, uh- Oh, do I need to activate the thing, Thongy? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's speed this along, shall we? Okay! Well, thank you! Thank you, kind lady! Thank you, kind lady, for being awesome! Are you my wife? Did I kill you? Thank you for your help. You've been great in the assistant of me. Okay! Am I going down again? Please tell me I'm not going down. I don't even know why I went down! I guess to get the master bedroom key, which I still have here. I also have the key to the office safe. Did I ever open the office safe? I don't even remember if I did that. Oh, okay, there you are! Is that what you look like? All I saw was a white head, but I know there's a body attached to that that's pitch black. And works very well for the pitch blackness of this game. Just like my soul. Just like my lovely, 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 lovely heart. Okay, so I'm on the third floor now. Which I'm sure is gonna be fun, I'm never gonna see that monster again. Goody goody gumdrops, I'm so happy about that. Why doesn't my mansion have a staircase to the third floor? Goodbye! Thank you once again for abandoning me. I've come to collect on your debt, Who? Sean. Who did that? Who's doing what? Why? Who, did, who said that? Why? Hello? Someone there? Someone wanna not collect on my debt and maybe go away forever? Guillermo? Guillermo del Toro? Oh, why does it have to be dark again? Okay, let's think happy thoughts. Butterflies, unicorns, rainbows, pretty, pretty, pretty gumdrops. Am I just unlocking everything or is that everything actually unlocked? Because I hear unlock noises on certain things. Okay. Oh, did it get darker? My. We've been married for 20 years, Sean. I know when something is troubling you. Yeah? You can tell me. I don't think so. I'm sorry, my love. I'm too ashamed to speak of it. A coward! Do you not trust me? <clears throat> I will not judge you harshly, my love. Maybe. If you are a decent woman, as I know you are, then you will. What did I do? What did I do before my supposed suicide? What have I done? Why? It can't just be like, like, people stab, in business, people stab each other in the back all the time and they cheat them out of their profits and whatever and money swindling and all that, but there must be something more to it that I'm missing. More to this mystery. But like I was saying before, there is some great part of having an element of mystery in these horror games. Like, combine the story and the mystery into one so that you get this whole experience that allows you to truly become immersed in the game. Like, every time I play a horror game, I usually say the word immersion at least once. Immersion is so important. Hello. I am unlocking that, aren't I? And you are. No! No, you're lying, son of a bitch! Okay, this was a mistake! Hey! hey. Do you think I'd forgotten? Oh, I never did. Every minute of every day, I contemplate my revenge. They call me mad! I have no one left. No family, no wife, no children. And it is all because of you! Me? Death would be too good for you, Sean. You took everything from me, and I will return the favor! Okay. So did you kill my wife? Okay. Well, this has been a fun reunion, but could you leave my door forever and go away? Did you 
somehow give me my your madness? Or did you? Oh, wait a minute. He was a chemist that created a lot of concoctions. So maybe he concocted a little something something that was going to make me mad. Maybe he made me think that I was losing my mind. Maybe he caused me to slip into the other world of death and dreams. Maybe I'm just getting a little too poetic here. And maybe it's something much more simple. He's still out there, isn't he? Hello? Somebody there? Hello? Did something change? This is not where I once was. Can I close that? Just gonna close that door there so no one ever comes through it ever again. Where the hell am I? And why can I not see anything? Ugh! I know they did the no lantern thing on purpose. That doesn't mean I have to like it. I know I'm not supposed to like it. I know it's supposed to add this element Come of- on, No! Coward. Where are you? Which way? This way! Which way do I go? Where do I go to get away from you? How do I not face you, coward? I am a coward. I am a very big coward. Coward. I am... Sorry, phone. I do not have time to answer you right now. I'm in a bit of a situation here. There's a crisis going on. And I need to get to the bottom of it. No matter what. I'm a- Oh, hey. Hey, piggy piggy. How you doing? You look good. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. Am I- I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know anything of anything about anything. All I know is that I'm about to die. If I'm not already dead. Where were you hiding? Nowhere? Are you bashing on my head? What's going on there? Nowhere. God, why do you keep making me think I'm making a mistake every time I open a door? I want to think that I'm very, very confident in the choices that I make. You're causing me to doubt myself, game. Very much so. Okay, nice humming in my ears. What is going on here? Ah, this must be the master bedroom. Bink! Yay! Okay! No! 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 Oh! Ah! Okay, what do I do? No! Ah! Great! Go ahead! Thank you. That was good. Thank you. Okay. I'm glad this is all going just as you planned. Horribly! Why don't I know that every time I am alive, I need to die? That is exactly how this game goes. Well, that's some ending somber music. Well, now I know the mystery. Aww. 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 And you took your own life because you cannot bear the thought. Mm -hmm. This is a coward's debt. This is your debt. So, Jean, what will you do now? I don't know. What can I do? I don't know what I do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Where do I go? Am I stuck endlessly to be deadified by that dude? There were still a lot of doors that were not openable. Where am I going? Um, what do I- Why do I hear a ding dong? Is that like a child's toy? Oh, that's locked too. Okay, is everything gonna be locked except where I'm supposed to go? Hopefully that'll help me get to where I need to go sooner. But, I do not know this for a fact. Hello? Is someone standing out there in the darkness of these windows watching me? Okay. Forgot how dark it was. Hello, me. I'm an old man, apparently, and a coward. Okay, that's still locked. I'm surprised about that. I would have thought something would have come out of that, because that's the first place I heard a noise. Any sort of noise that gave any sort of indication that there was something wrong here. Okay. It's not too late, John. You can still redeem yourself. Okay, how? How do I do that? You gonna tell me? You gonna tell me, lady? Cause right now, right now, you were just stringing me along trying to show me how bad of a person I am. I didn't kill my wife! And I couldn't bear the shame. If I had only done something, if I only hadn't been so greedy, as a Frenchman, I should have more honor. That wasn't an insult to the French, that was a compliment. Very honorable people! Hello! 
Is there something trying to kill me here? Save her, Jean. Protect your beloved Evangeline. I will protect her with all of my loins. Everything of me shall be dedicated to her protection. How do I does that, though? I, I don't really know in facing what I need to do. Maybe I made the mistake by accidentally running out the back door. Do you really want to watch her die again? No! Or will you save her? There's no time left, Jean. Okay. Okay. God, some of these doors are pulls and some are pushes. This is all you- No! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Was that- was- was that what I was supposed to do the first time? Angeline, my love. Huh? I will never forget the sound of your voice. Oh. Or the songs of your violin. Uh -huh. Or the shine of the morning sun on your hair. Mm -hmm. You showed me such love and passion, far more than I deserved. I am sorry. Aww. I could have saved you, but my cowardice held me back. Aww. I allowed you to die while I lived. Mm. I am sorry, my love. I was not worthy of you. I wish to be a decent man, but it was only a lie. I can only pray that you have gone to a better place than I. Given everything, may I be deserving to meet you there. Mm -hmm. I did not think you had it in you, Jean. You've grown far beyond what I expected. Mm -hmm. You overcame a great fear. A fear that bested you in life. Hmm. Of course, life is short. Aww. Your punishment, however, is eternal. Ah! Oh god, not again! Not again with the waking up in the same place! Oh good. This is your debt, Jean. This is a coward's debt. Good! Wake up, Jean. There is much work to be done. You must get to the third floor. Oh. Oh my god! This is so cool! The gods had condemned Sif Sisyphus to ceaselessly rolling a rock to the top of the mountain. When the stone would fall back of its own weight, they had thought forth for some reason that there is no more dreadful punishment than futile and hopeless labor. Anyway, that was awesome! That was probably one of the best custom stories I have ever played. The story was great. Um, I kind of had an idea what was going on in the story as it, way, as it went through, but that's just because I'm so smart and I'm able to solve these mysteries very elegantly. But either way, that was a really fun custom story and utterly terrifying. Like, th some of the moments in there were the most scared I've ever been, and it was a long build-up through the first episode, but, and I wish it would have been a little longer, but I feel like it almost, you know, it, it kind of fit its need. It told the story and nothing more. Like, it didn't have anything that was just, like, uh, dragging on longer just for the sake of gameplay. It actually was very very good, and I really, really like that game a lot. Thank you so much for everybody for watching. Thank you, developer of the game. Um, I'm just gonna get out of this just in case, you know, the, uh, the, the, the credit music may not be, you know, royalty free or something. Just the issue that YouTubers have to go through. But either way, that was a phenomenal Amnesia Custom Story. I recommend everyone play that. There may be an Easter egg or something that I haven't found. If you have another idea, let me know in the comments below. I really hope you enjoy this one. And remember, there's so many other Amnesia Custom Stories that I've played. I'll put, like, a huge list of all of them down in the description below. But either way... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotation for more videos that I've done. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!